Good morning boys and girls, and welcome to another kid's story. So today I'm going to be telling you the story of Thomas the Doubter, one of the disciples who needed a little bit of extra convincing before he would believe that Jesus really had come back from the dead. I'm going to be using a few small figures that I have at home uh, to help me tell the story. Now these figures don't look at all like the disciples, so you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit. But without further ado, Let's get to the story. Our story begins in a small room in Jerusalem, where some of the disciples are busy hiding. They're hiding because just outside are the police who are currently looking everywhere for them in order to arrest them. Inside, the disciples are very depressed. Some are sitting around, some are comforting each other, and some are just playing games in order to try and pass the time. They're not really sure what to do anymore, all they know is they've lost all hope now that Jesus is dead. But what do you know? Jesus suddenly appears in the room with them. They all get very excited. They're so happy to see Jesus again. And he explains to them, don't worry, be at peace. I'm okay. They crowd around him and ask him to tell, him, to tell them all about everything that's happened. He began to explain to them that this was all part of God's plan and that now that he was back, they would all be able to receive the Holy Spirit. But then just like that, he was gone again. The disciples all started to talk to each other, very excited about everything they had just seen. But just at that moment, one who hadn't been there, Thomas, walked in. The other disciples turned to Thomas and were very excited and said to him, You'll never believe it. Jesus was just here. We've seen him. He's alive again. But Thomas wasn't too convinced and said to them unless I can see the nail marks in his hands and I can put my finger in the hole in his side I will not believe the other disciples weren't very happy so they went back to doing what they were doing beforehand about a week later everyone was together in the house again once again doing their own thing some were sitting reading or watching reading happen some were very excitedly talking about seeing Jesus last week, and some were just playing games to pass the time again. It was at this moment, while they were all distracted, that all of a sudden in the middle, Jesus appeared again. No one noticed him at first, but you can imagine, as soon as they did, the room exploded with excitement. They were so happy to see Jesus again, and they very quickly stood up to greet him. But he calmed them and said, listen, before that, Thomas, we need to speak. Thomas came forward and Jesus said to him, look, here is my hand with a hole in it. And look, here is my side with another hole in it. Do you believe now? Thomas said, my Lord and my God. And Jesus said, do you believe now because you have seen? Blessed instead are those who do not need to see in order to believe. Jesus did many other things with them while he was there, but we don't have those written down, so we will just have to believe. I hope you all enjoyed the story, and I hope you will all remember that you don't always have to see in order to believe. Sometimes all you need is a little faith.